Hi, it's Sean Moore with Century 21 Trident. Welcome to 4185 Highway 2. We're out in Wellington, just about five minutes out of Fall River and all the amenities and shopping that you'd expect in Fall River. We're in an amazing school district and we're uh, close to Grand Lake and the Chain of Lakes system, parks, Lorry Park, and of course the airport and uh, easy access to all the highways. I love this house. This is uh, built in 1988, but it was so well built. You'll see this even just in the quality of the, the windows that look brand new. The homeowners have done an excellent job of updating and sprucing up. Uh, this is one of three baths on the main floor, a uh, powder room there, closet from the front door. This isn't your typical home. It's a raised bungalow, but it's it's no cookie cutter. It is really open and bright with a, a really cool layout. So just walked in. I'm gonna pan to the left. See those the brightness uh, through those windows, looking out towards the uh, the roadway. So this is a den on the front. This is the living room with the uh, wood stove. I'm gonna take you back to the hallway. We're gonna take you into the kitchen, which is really bright because we have a nice fresh paint, but this skylight just overhead built up into the roof line. And some stainless steel and black appliances. Nice open concept here. So you can easily prepare your food and entertain at the same time. There's Really large room off, I don't know if it shows in the video how large it is, but but there's a ton of space uh, just off the kitchen here. Lots of built-in cabinetry. So you'll have no issue with storage, but you could easily put a dining room table in here, plus a sectional, couch, coffee bar, whatever works. And it's these uh, big bright windows, again, bright space I should say with the large windows walk out onto the deck and the backyard, which is nice and private. You do have neighbors, but the trees and the mature landscaping keep uh, the privacy for you and wherever you are really outside. You can see a little glimpse of the lake here, uh, just through and over the deck off that corner. There you go. So. That's the main living area. I'm gonna run you back through the home to the hallway. And we've got two bedrooms upstairs here. This would be the master, the larger of the two. Again, big egress windows there. Really high quality window in perfect shape. Large closet. Bathroom has a Huge soaker. I guess that's a jacuzzi tub. Toilet in behind the door here. Vanities uh, all freshened up with new countertop. Updated light fixture. And then this is the front room on the second floor, or the first, the main floor, I should say. It's a pretty good size. This is on the road front side of the home. That's the main. We'll take you downstairs. This home has an in-law suite and uh, a really large garage. I'm not gonna call it a single car garage. It's more like a car and a half. I, I would say it's quite long, like 40 foot long length of the house, just through that door. And um, tons of storage space. You could easily pull your car in with lots of room on each side. Here's the bathroom on the downstairs. It's a three piece with the shower. It's the utility room. But we're gonna take you into what could be a rec room. So this room really, this is the, the beauty of the home. You can piece, uh, sorry, really position this room and this space to best fit your family's needs. Like right now, it, it's quite large. You could change out the flooring, make it a rec room, keep your wood stove there or you know, take it out and use that as a TV wall or this wall is uh, TV and couch, but there's so much space down here. There's another bedroom 
call this the third bedroom. It's very large, big closet. And you probably saw the kitchenette. So you could have this as an in-law suite entirely sectioned off from upstairs with its own exit out the side to the exterior. That is a closet and another closet, exterior door. And then we have another fourth smaller bedroom here. Um, if we go through this door, we have a workshop area unfinished space, but that's your utility room, all your storage and shelving. So there's tons of space in this house. And I'll give you a peek out the side entrance. <clears throat> well, maybe not right now. That lock needs to be adjusted. And then another uh, utility room in there. Give you another look outside, a little more deck space, but it's a really bright basement and a bit of landscaping. Laundry just at the bottom of the stairs. Thanks for looking.